But although the mechanisms of remote viewing are currently inexplicable, Targ isn't worried. We don't feel that this contradicts modern physics, and it certainly doesn't make modern physics wrong, because modern physics is an enormously successful body of knowledge. What it says is that modern physics is incomplete in many ways, and is presently inadequate to describe the data that we've accumulated over this past 10 years' research. Stand by. Turn over. We asked to see a real live Four experiment. Take one. Okay, Today is Tuesday, February 8th, 1983. It's 10 minutes after 10, and this is a remote viewing experiment with Russ Targ and Hella Hammett. We had six envelopes containing names of different places in San Francisco. And at 9.30 a.m., we chose one of them at random. We'll reveal the target at the end of the experiment. At 10 o'clock, the BBC's Sonia Ledley went to the site with SRI researcher Keith Harari. The six possible sites were St Mary's Cathedral, Columns by a Lake, a supermarket, a whale skeleton in a museum, a modern stone fountain, and a sailing ship moored by a dock. Hella Hamid was 30 miles away. No one in the room had any idea which site had been chosen. At 10 past 10, she began her description. I've been having for quite a while an image of a very narrow light streak in the middle of a dark area and I'll draw it in a minute um, very geometrical uh, it's, a, it's a diagonal kind of this is the the light wood you know wood area it's light it's, it's beige okay mm -hmm. And then along here is this, this wall, which um, seems to be made off of large building stones or, or some other textured material. Can you pull away from the wall a little bit? Okay. As you stand where they are and look at the interesting aspect, what comes into view? You just pop your eyes open and look at the thing that they're standing at, looking at. They seem to be looking at some small detail of something. Almost something as if they picked it off the ground and they're both <coughs> looking at it in the hand. And I got this feeling of close inspection. Hella, could you drift up in the air and look down on this site? Do you see a plan view that you could draw? A compound. It has sort of long walls, which, which are windowless. There may be in the middle one entrance. The walls are thick, very thick. The fortress-like. It's, it's like a fortress. Um, I would say it has a mausoleum kind of feeling. It's sort of silent, that's why I would tend to think it's not something that is being used. Uh, it's, a, it's quite a silent place. Uh, inside, too, there is, is almost no activity. Um, Museum-like um, it's either fallen into disuse or it's not, it's not something that I would choose to spend a lot of time in. Okay? That sounds very good. That kind of feeling. Thank you. Okay. So which site had they been at? Well, the throw of the dice had picked the whale skeleton at the local museum. Hella Hamid had said museum. She had also said thick windowless walls. As it turned out, the museum kept the skeleton locked up. Is it? Yeah. They'd closed it to the public three years ago, 
and Hamid had used the words fallen into disuse. But she didn't report seeing the whale skeleton itself, although she had said mausoleum. She also said she got the feeling of close inspection. Sonia had indeed examined this stone. And Hamid's description of the place as a fortress-like compound was particularly striking from the air. We sent full transcripts of her viewing to two independent judges. They visited all six sites and said they thought the museum the closest match. How does Hella Hamid think it works? I'm sorry, I can't give you explanation. If we had explanation, it would be wonderful. We've been working for so long trying to figure out how it works. We know it works, you know, with all the controlled experiments, but we don't really 